Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we're going to be continuing our chair. So far we have made the leg here, which is pretty spectacular if you ask me. Now we're going to make the cushion for it. So let's go over here to bodies, and we're going to hide the, the hide the leg for now, be, just because it's, it's kind of annoying um, to have to draw with it here, so we're going to hide it for clarity. So now what we're going to do is click on create a sketch and then we're going to click on one of these axes again. I, I always like to just use the, the bottom one. I don't know, it's just preference. So now let's see. So our, our, our uh, seat here, we know that it has to be 40 centimeters by 50 centimeters. And it also looks like there is like a half circle on the end here. We're going to add that rather than cut it away, just because it'll be easier to line up the legs. Um, so that that's kind of interesting. So we'll do that, and we'll make sure that we extrude it by 10 centimeters. So let's draw that. So 40 by 50 first. So we'll press S, and then we're going to choose our center rectangle. Click at the origin, and type in... Um, so that looks like the 50, and then 40, and I hit tab in between there, and then you hit enter. And now we're going to go up here to create, and then we're going to click on arc, a three point arc. So we're going to start at this corner, and then we're going to choose the other side, and then we're just going to choose some point in the middle. It doesn't really matter, I mean like, <laughs> that's kind of ridiculous, but just have a slight arc there just to make it nice. All right, so now it looks like we've got the, if we were to look at the chair seat from above, that's kind of what it would look like. So that looks pretty good to me. So we are going to press Q, and then we're going to select both of these at the same time. All you have to do is click on them. You don't have to hold anything. And then see, now there's just one arrow because both profiles are chosen. And see, it goes into as one solid piece. Now let's see, what does 10... Ah, uh, 10 centimeters looks thick. Yeah, I guess we'll keep it. It is supposedly a cushion. Let me just double check our dimensions. Yep, 50 by 40. Yep, looks good to me. So we're going to type in 10 and then hit enter. Good. So now, if you remember, when we go back to our leg here, which is <laughs> right in the middle of it, um, we know that we have this peg coming out of it. And this peg was at, um, it was right in the middle and it was three millimeters or three centimeters, I believe, because each side is six centimeters. So what we'll do is we'll draw like a, a six by six square on the bottom of each corner of the seat and then we will put a circle in the middle and then extrude that or cut it. So we'll hide that guy again. We'll just scroll out, just zoom out a little bit. So now we're going to click create a sketch and we're gonna roll over till we see the bottom face here. Good. So now what we'll do is we'll go to our two point rectangle. It'll just make it a little easier and then just make it six by six. And we'll do that for each of the four corners. Perfect. <coughs> and now we'll choose our center diameter circle. And we'll find the midpoint here. And we'll also find the midpoint on this line too. And that way, when you see how See how when I highlighted both, so like I highlight this for a second and then that gives me the midpoint. Then I go down here and I want to do the same thing. I highlight it for a second and that gives me that midpoint. And then they both snap together. It's really nice. So we're going to click and then we're going to bring it out to three centimeters. And we will do the exact same thing. We can press C and we can find our center point here. Type 3, enter, and we're going to do the exact same thing again, 
three, enter. And then one last time, just press C there. I mean, you can probably even see like where the midpoint is, but it's, in, it's nice to be a little bit more scientific about it. So now what we can do is press Q. Okay, and then we're going to select each of our four circles. And then this kind of like shows you what it's going to look like when the legs are on there. You know, those, those four corners will be occupied like that. Now, if you notice this, the arrow's coming out of it. We don't want that. We want the arrow to go into it. So we're going to have to put a negative value. So we're going to put negative five centimeters. And if you take a look here, you can see that it only goes halfway through. So we have plenty of the seat left. So we'll hit enter. Good, perfect. And then one last thing, we always love to fill it, so let's do that. We'll click on fill it, or conversely, you can press F, and we will click on each of our edges, because this is where you're gonna sit, so you don't want it to be too harsh. Let's make that, what do we say, one centimeter? What's that look like? Hmm, I think we go further, maybe two centimeters. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty nice. Oh, wait, before we do that, actually, um, while I'm thinking about it, we need to make sure that our back is going to be supported by pegs, too. So we want to make sure that we do the exact same thing. We're going to make the back legs... Um, I guess let's make them five by five here uh, that'll make it easier and we'll do the exact same uh, circle in the middle so we'll go here and press um, C for s or f no I mean sorry S first oh my goodness first we have to create a sketch then we'll click here and then we will go and choose our two-point rectangle by pressing R or S or clicking up there. So now we're going to go down here and just make it five by five. This will also offset it from the circles underneath so that we don't, well, they'll, they'll be pretty close, but the, they're not going to be like directly over top of each other. So we're going to click on our center diameter circle or press C. And we're going to find the center here and we'll make that three that looks pretty big I think yeah three is fine three is good so we'll do C again and then come over here to find the midpoint highlight both snap to the middle type three hit enter and then we're going to hit Q we're just going to select our two little circles like before and we want to cut them down by five centimeters negative five enter all right there we go good so that way when we have we have a place for them to sit so we will go here and now we'll fill it in click on our little fillet tool we'll choose our edges and then now we might run into troubles with s anything bigger than one yeah see one centimeter already is almost it's right there right at the edge there so if one centimeter is as, as big as what we can do on those sides but I think what we'll do instead is actually hit cancel and then try that one more time. We'll do one centimeter on these three edges, and then we will do two centimeters on the front edge. Because if you think about it, that's where your thighs will be. So you don't want you don't want it, the wood to be too sharp. So we'll go up here and hit one. Hit enter, and then we'll do one more time. Click on that edge, and we will do two centimeters. Bam. Now that's pretty nice. 
you know we will add another fillet to these back two corners as well and so let's click F choose our back two corners and then we will do one centimeter two twelve <laughs> two centimeters that's perfect that way it's uniform front to back and the top has symmetry along this axis here there we go so that well let's let's set our material too since this is all wood I suppose we'll go down here to appearance and then we'll choose cherry and just drag it on over here and there we go just like that we've got a very dark cherry I like it and now we've got our chair bottom or our chair seat really so now uh, next video we can work on the back part of it and then we should be able to assemble it all and then by the very end I'm excited to be able to show you guys how we can scale this down in Fusion 360 and print it on our Mantis 3D printer please like and subscribe this video if it helped you out at all and if you liked it let me da know down below in the comments and tell me what I should be doing to help you guys out so thank you for watching and we'll see you next time